28CN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to Season 19 of our official Braves Beat. I'm Griffin Wanker. And I'm Julian Lambert. This is going to be a challenging task to produce our weekly news program, meeting half of our team one day and the other half on another. However, we are up to the challenge. Yes, Julianne, what a challenging year it'll be. So how did you spend your summer break? Well, well, I went to Florida in May and then came back and worked. What about you? Well, I worked and did pretty much nothing other than that. Well, we have a jam-packed episode this week, so let's get on with the news. Well, alrighty then. Over the summer, we had added new high school assistant principal to our administrative team. Dylan Condor had a chance to interview Mr. Renner in his office earlier this week. Roll the interview. Hello everybody, I'm Dylan Condor and I'm here today with Mr. Renner, our new assistant principal, to ask him some questions. So Mr. Renner, how are you enjoying your job so far? It's been great so far, honestly. I mean, interesting year with the return with the COVID protocol, but um, I think yesterday went great. I think today went well as also, um, you know, with the return to school and the pandemic, I think we couldn't ask for a better return. So Mr. Renner, how are you enjoying the kids so far? I know it's different from your uh, last job. Sure, I was at middle school uh, last year. Um, I'm really enjoying the older crowd, older students, um, having some more adult-like conversations, and popped into many classrooms so far. Uh, got some feedback from students for the most part. It seems like students are doing okay with this plan B. Um, but I, I have encouraged students so far, and I will continue to encourage students to give us your feedback on how things are going with this plan so we can make it as, uh, as best as it possibly can be. Compared to your students of uh, last year, do you think Indian Hill is better than them? Oh, by far, no doubt. Absolutely. It's a great place to be. Um, really honored to be here, and I look forward to a great school year. Thanks, Dylan. Mr. Renner, welcome to the Braves family. We also had a new athletic director over the summer, Mr. Brian Phelps. He started work in July getting our fall sports teams ready for an unknown fall season. He has worked tirelessly through all the OHSAA changes and governor orders. But, as of now, all fall sports will be taking place with limited spectators. Only family members of players are permitted to attend any home events. However, you may tune into IHTN1 YouTube channel for any live streams they will be producing. You can find the link down below in the description of this video. And let's also welcome our new teachers, Ms. Julia Kunkel, Ms. Rebecca Placci, and Mr. Casey Abrams. Julia Kunkel comes to us from Win Winton Woods, she graduated from Capital University and has been teaching for four years. During her time at Winton Woods, Julia presented at the New Tech Annual Conference of 2019 and the STEM Conference in 2018 and 2019. Julia has also coached girls soccer and served as the Model UN Advisor. Also, let's not forget Miss Plagit, or Miss P, who comes to us in her third year of teaching from Summit Academy, THS. She graduated from the University of Cincinnati, where she taught for a while in Ecuador. And finally, please welcome Mr. Casey Abrams, who joins us from King's High School. Mr. Abrams graduated from Wright State with a bachelor's in criminal justice, as well as a master's in math. He carries eight years of experience in teaching math, as well as coaching sports such as football, wrestling, and baseball. The Indian Hill School District also welcomes seasoned administrator Mr. Jim Nichols to the central office in the role of Director of Operations and Dr. Aaron Owens the role of Indian Hill Primary School Principal with the start of the 2020 school year. The district restructured the administrative roles following the departure of Assistant Superintendent Dr. Mark Ault, who left in July, be began serving the Three Rivers School District as Superintendent. Congratulations on your new roles. The Indian Hill School District is pleased to announce that veteran educator Dr. Kim Given will serve students, families, and staff in the new role of Brave Virtual Academy Supervisor in the 2020 school year. David Kolodinka was able to interview Dr. Given this past Monday in our studio. Hey Braves, and welcome back to another fantastic school year. I'm sitting here with Dr. Given, who's the supervisor for the new Brave Virtual Academy. So, Dr. Given, what is Brave Virtual Academy? Brave Virtual Academy is our online option for learners who cannot come to school right now, or it's just not a good fit. So we are offering classes to Indian Hill students um, taught by Indian Hill teachers and through some online learning options for them to be able to work from home. Fantastic. What has changed about virtual learning this year compared to last year? This year, students have um, a little bit more structured option for the time that they're spending online. They'll be getting more feedback and evaluation and grades on the work that they do. Um, teachers will be able to offer more one-on-one -on -one help with students, which I think will be 
really significant in helping them to have a good experience this year. This year for Brave Virtual Academy, you have chosen to outsource several classes in order to facilitate uh, online learning. What uh, programs did you choose for this and why did you choose them? I think in particular we wanted to make sure that we were able to offer the depth and breadth of programming that we have in the high school. And we realized pretty early on that there was no way that we were going to be able to run parallel schools with all of the specific classes that we have. And so what we chose to do is seek out some online e-learning platforms that weren't just about checking the boxes off. They have a lot of different ways to help connect with learners. There are videos and um, items to read. There are different things and ways for people to connect into the curriculum so that we hope that it will be a good experience for them as they go through their coursework. Dr. Given, supervisor at the Brave Virtual Academy. Thanks guys, back to the studio. Dr. Given, who recently served the district as a gifted intervention specialist at Indian Hill Middle School, has more than 30 years of experience in education and dedicated more than 25 years in service to the students and families at Indian Hill High School District. Congratulations on your new position. Indian Hill now has a Gladiator National Champion. His name is Ethan Marks. Thanks also goes to his second chair, Michael Ragnoni, and his fine coaching staff of Albert Kwan, Sarah Kaplan, James Orr, and Cooper Pierce. Great work, Braves. Indian Hill students are in accolades in the National Junior Classical League. It was originally scheduled to be held at the University of Richmond, but plans changed due to the pandemic this year. The National Junior Classical League convention went online July 24th through the 29th, and two Indian Hill school students participated and placed. We congratulate Indian Hill High School Class of 2020 graduate Olivia Sheldon and rising sophomore Alex Sheldon. Have you seen our new home of the Braves athletic facility between the baseball fields and football stadium? Well, Braves beat Will Church and Charlie Wilson had an opportunity to see firsthand how it's shaped up. Roll the clip. What's up everybody, I'm Will. I'm here at our new facility, home of the Braves. I'm here with our new athletic dire director. Uh... And welcome to the home of the Brave, our new facility as we take a look around. First up, our ticket booth and entrance into our new facility. Over the pedestrian patio to our left, we walk in and take a look at our five new tennis courts where our boys and girls will take action this year. Also up top, our concession stand and restrooms and entrances to more locker rooms face the baseball and softball field. An inside look of our concession stand, it's not quite ready yet. Up top, our baseball locker room, which also doubles as middle school football right now. Our training room, an area where our student athletes can make sure they're ready for practices in the games. On the other side up top is our softball locker room, also doubling as overflow high school football locker room. Now let's take a look downstairs where we have our coaches offices and more locker rooms. First off, our coaches office where coaches can get prepared for practice and the games. And right next to the coaches' offices, we have our field hockey locker room and girls' lacrosse locker room. On the other side of the coaches' offices, we walk into our football locker room and boys' lacrosse locker room. Plenty of graphics have recently been installed in all the locker rooms. Home of the Braves, Indian Hill, whiteboards, and all four locker rooms. Really a great facility for all of our student athletes. And there's a look at our new facility home of the Braves. Yes, well it certainly changed a lot since I was younger. Um, Mr. Phelps, thanks for coming out for do to doing this today. Um, you got it. Thank you. Back to you guys. <laughs> Speaking of athletics, Indian Hill Athletic Department welcomes former IH alumnus Wade Ward to the girls tennis family. Wade will take over as the girls varsity tennis coach. Congratulations on your new coaching position. Go Braves. Well, that's all the news that we have for this week. Make sure you stay safe and sanitized. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay classy, Indian Hill. We could ever do that.